Los Angeles, 1951. It's Friday the 13th and Arnold Schoenberg, revolutionary of classical music, is dead. One of the first to be informed is his most important counterpart, Igor Stravinsky, another musical revolutionary, but one often better understood in his own time. Although Stravinsky lives only eight miles east of Schoenberg, the two have led largely separate lives. Stravinsky immediately writes a telegram of condolence and wants to go to the funeral. But after 40 years of strained relations between these two conductor composers, he decides it would be inappropriate. Nevertheless, Schoenberg's death results in Stravinsky trying to suddenly overcome the barrier, hardened by a cold war between these camps of musical modernism. How could such a bitter turf war happen? And is there really just one acceptable way to write the music of the future?